I thought might be the most important thing that maybe I do in my life. I don't know. The last things to repair, family, faith, capitalism, and you, to give you self-confidence that you make a difference. How do we do this? Well, you really want to fix our country. It's going to come from a place like Joplin. When I, when did Joplin happen? A few weeks ago. Just a few and weeks. I, I went in and I asked um, the money people um, and, uh, and also uh, the network, I want to go to Joplin. And they said, can't, too expensive, too difficult, and you'll get in the way. And I said, okay, well, I agree with the get in the way thing, so why don't we fix America? one town at a time. Why don't we tie these three things together? I know, I looking at these pictures here, these were amazing buildings. America was a textile manufacturer. To getting somebody to make a shirt in America, impossible. This shirt as it stands now, Tim, where's Tim? 100 and 140, 150 dollars to have this made and sold in America. I could have it made for about 40 or 50 dollars. That's what it cost me to make a shirt for me. But to then turn around and retail, it's about 150 dollars. You can't sell a 150 dollar shirt in America. Why? If you make it in America, if I make it overseas, I could sell it to you for you know 60 dollars, 70 dollars, but not here in America. Well, those jobs don't, don't even exist anymore. Well, we have towns that are imploding. Tim is, um, is a guy that um, is a designer friend of the family, and he has come up with, I, I had this guy who came to my office, and he's a designer that you would know, and he came to my office, and he walked in, and he was freaked out of his mind, because he thought, oh, geez, here's, comes a, here's a TV host that wants to do a clothing line. Let me guess, it's another polo pony. And I told him the whole story, and he saw this, and he said, this stuff is fantastic. Are you kidding me? And he said, and I said, well, it'd all have to be made in America. And he said, oh, okay. Oh, well, that's not gonna be done. And I said, but I have some towns in mind. I think we can find some towns that um, might want those jobs and maybe we can restart some factories. Maybe we can teach people a skill. And I said, all the money will go to charity. And not only will the money, not only will we restart a town, but what we're going to do, you remember the, remember the picture that I showed you and I said we're going to need a name for this? We're going to need something. I'm calling it now just for working purposes, the compass and the heart. And what it is is it's going to be people that when there's a problem in the town, it's just going to be neighbors that you can trust, that you know will help. They'll have, we'll put, we'll position water and chainsaws and whatever emergency supplies there will need in regions of the country. And we will have volunteers that will help each other. And we will really truly be the kind of people that we're supposed to be. We'll serve each other. But if there needs to be some money and some funding, great. Then that's where that's where this money will go. GBTV, the truth lives here.